Hey Capricorn, I'm here to do your reading. This will be a reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node. This will be your ancestor messages, Capricorn. Let's see what your ancestors could tell me. What could Capricorn's ancestors tell me? I'm getting chills, so I, I don't know what that means. They could tell me to tell you to cool off. Cool out, Capricorn. <laughs> so something that they could tell me to tell you off of that is that something will be changing. You will be going through a change. You will be transitioning. And you don't know this. You don't know about this this transition, this change. Okay, okay, okay. So these are some pretty tough messages, Capricorn. So I'm getting like... Whatever this change is, you won't like it. It will not be in the best of your benefit, whatever the case may be. This could even be some bad karma coming around to you, Capricorn. Yeah. Four of Swords. So you may be called to rest, take a time out, slow down. This is something that they could tell me to tell you, Capricorn. They want you to slow down here. You're being slowed down for a reason. So don't don't be afraid. Don't be, you know. They're, they don't want you to be disappointed. This is something that they could tell me to tell you. So it's not as bad as it seems. When it comes to this Virgo. Or when it comes to isolating yourself. Being alone. Four and then the Hermit. So I'm getting like. You'll have to sit out. You'll be forced to go at it. You'll be forced to do this alone. You'll be forced to go at it alone. You'll be forced to be by yourself or you'll be forced to sit out, to take a break. Yeah, because you're trying to see into the future too much. You're trying to see like what's headed towards you just a little bit too what much. It seems like as you become content with doing that and doing that and just sitting and waiting and trying to see what's headed towards you, you're not really taking any action here. So you may be forced into this death, this death energy here. This could even be a physical death. I have to say that as well. Or this is just like transition or change. Right now I'm getting, I'm getting it's like, right now I'm getting it's, I don't know, I'm kind of getting like emotional. I'm getting like this may be a physical death. Like I'm getting like, I'm feeling sad. So I feel like this is a physical death or a swords. Someone may actually have to rest. This is something that they could tell me to tell you. Capricorn. The eight of cups reversed. So I'm getting someone is running out of time. Someone is off balance. Something is off balance here. Something is no longer pure. I'm getting something is very tainted and someone is running out of time. Or this is even money. Someone doesn't have money, resources. What is the Eight of Cups reverse? Because it feels like someone wants to walk away, but they cannot. Yeah, the Six of Wands. So I do see you being victorious. After this transition, after this, whatever this is, I see you being victorious after it. But I'm getting this as a warning for you. Six 
of Pentacles reversed. So I'm getting something that's not like the equal give and take. Something is not in balance at all. Seven of Swords. <clears throat> Seven of Cups. Two sevens here. The Six of Wands and then the Fool. So I'm getting like something is a warning. I do see like someone getting a standing. What is this? A standing ovation. This is something that they could tell me to tell you. You may be going through some type of transition or hitting some like a patch of karma. You may just be going through some karma here and you'll be disappointed with whatever this is. If you have to sit out, you may not be able to do something. You may have to sit out one week or something like that. This is something that they could tell me to tell you. You're trying to see into the future, see what's headed your way. But you may be doing that just a little bit too much. And they may push you out of that here to start looking at your options, to start planning more. Proper preparations I'm getting. They want you to prepare properly. This could even be a financial situation, Capricorn. Your finances aren't flowing the way it should be. Seven of Pentacles reversed. Six of Pentacles reversed, definitely. I feel like someone is draining your pockets. This is something that they could tell me to tell you. You're going to be pushed for a reason. If you feel like weird, really, really weird, Capricorn, it's for a reason. You're being upgraded. You're being spiritually upgraded. So you can go through this. So you can handle this disappointment. For some of you, if this is an actual death, I'm getting like you're being pushed this direction for a reason. So you can handle it. You're never alone. The Hermit card. You could even be being spiritually upgraded for this person. This could even be your soulmate that you're dealing with. This may not have anything to do with the death, but for some of you in the collective, it may be. Four of, of swords, I keep getting that. And if so, my condolences. If so, you never know. The two of cups and then the hermit. So I'm getting this person may be your soulmate or you may feel like this person is your soulmate. This is something that your ancestors could tell me and that you need to change here. This could be a Virgo that you're dealing with. Or someone could have Virgo in their chart, highly aspected. Knight of Wands. Something else that they could tell me to tell you is to... What is this? I'm getting like... Slow down. I'm getting slow down. Six of Swords. That's like moving towards calmer waters. But that's also hidden helpers. So something... This is weird. It's coming out though. So something that they want you to know is like... To slow down when you're out. When you're out partying. When you're out having a good time. Knight of Wands energy. The Knight of Wands is very in and out. Basically for everybody. They could tell me to tell you to slow down. When it comes to this Knight of Wands energy. Capricorn. This is like the player energy. This is going to do what the fuck I want. Whenever the fuck I want. Type of energy. They could tell me to tell you that they have your back when you're out being really <laughs> reckless or something like that. Yeah. When you're at your weakest, they have your back. This is something that they could tell me to tell you. Capricorn. Something else that they could tell me to tell you is to take action towards your happiness. Whatever makes you happy, take action towards it. You have the sun card there, so I'm going to end your reading. Let's choose a Moonology card. This could even be a Leo that you're dealing with. An Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius, Capricorn. They 
could also tell me to tell you to stop underestimating yourself when it comes to your happiness. Knight of Wands energy could could like ruin that for you. Like, cause I see you like, I see you being whatever this energy is in this Knight of Wands energy. No telling what this energy is for some of you. Some of you may like to party a lot. Some of you may like to do whatever you want, whenever you want. But that could leave you in this Six of Swords energy here. Where you feel like you're always like having to move towards like calmer waters. Or like something is disappointing you in a way. So you have to move away from it. Where this is like a relationship that you're in. Like you feel like you always have to move away from your relationships. Because something like disappoints you. But I'm getting it's something that you do yourself. Knight of Wands energy. So they could tell me to tell you to stop underestimating yourself here. Be a little bit more passionate when it comes to relationships. Two of Cups energy. Or this is your happiness. I'm getting this is your happiness solely, Capricorn. This is something that they could tell me to tell you. This is actually a good reading, a really beautiful reading. We have the energy is gaining momentum. So like if you're you're being spiritually upgraded, I'm not even going to second guess that. I see you being spiritually upgraded. The death card, you're going to go through this transition. It's going to cause heartbreak. You will be heartbroken. You will go through disappointments. But it's preparing you for another pathway here. The Three of Wands is preparing you for, for what's coming towards you, what's coming in. This is something that they could tell me to tell you. Let's get a Star Seed card. For you. says you got the love hadarian energy codependency boundaries so you could be like very codependent on people yes <laughs> i think i said that you're very codependent like you're going to wait to see what's going to come in towards you capricorn like you you rather wait, sit and wait to see like what, what happens next or something like that here. But you're gonna be pushed out of that energy. You will no longer sit in that energy. Let's get an ancestor card for you. And then also I'm getting like you're you're feeling like kind of sad when someone says boundaries with you, Capricorn. I'm getting don't don't feel sad. Everything is preparing you for greater. The sun card. You have so much that you can't even possibly fathom headed towards you. The high priest. Intend and create. Underneath it says, transform and unveil your gifts. So you had the death card popping out here with the high priest. So they're pushing you to be more creative. To place your intentions where they need to be. That is why you're going through this death energy, this transformation. The death card is only about transformation, change. It doesn't have to represent a physical death, but in some cases it can. <clears throat> they want you to get into your high priestess energy here. They want you to be a little bit more connected and aware of the things that are around you. 
let's get a numerology card for you. This one had to come out. It says moderation, but I'm going to choose another one. I think this came out for another um, sign. I think it was Scorpio. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio. The death card is Scorpio. It's just about change. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, I'm sure they brought change in your life. For a reason. Let's see. It says relationship change. Some of you could be in a relationship with the Scorpio and you're trying to get out of it. It could be causing you or bringing you some type of disappointment or heartbreak. This is something that your ancestors could tell me to tell you is that you'll be disappointed when it comes to this relationship or you'll be receiving some type of bad karma when it comes to a Scorpio as well. Let's see. Angel answers for Capricorn. It says romance. So you could look at this person as they're your like romantic partner, your soulmate, twin flame. I see that you have deep feelings for this person. You and this person could have also um, shared fluids, Capricorn. I see you exchanging fluids with someone for this person. This is something that they could tell me to tell you. I'm getting this is your person though. This is something that they could tell me to tell you. I'm getting this is not your person. This person has brought you bad karma, but this, this is your person here. Or you brought yourself bad karma. This is your reading. <clears throat> so I see things slowing down for you or going in a different direction here. And I'm getting you'll kind of be upset. This will not be your wish fulfillment. This this will be against your wishes, Capricorn. And it may even sadden you here. Let's get an oracle card for you. To be fair, yeah. the scales needed to be balanced within this situation. And I'm getting they were not. So I'm getting this is only fair, Capricorn. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Check my description box where you guys can book a personal reading. All right, thank you, Capricorn, for watching.